there are three types of Lamborghini owners. This is a good metaphor for life, by the way. Before I get a load of hate, I just seem to attract it. Yes, I own a Lamborghini. And yes, I own it outright. But I am one of the three types of Lamborghini owners. Now, look, you might not want a Lamborghini, but you probably do want a nice car. You probably do want a nice house. You probably do want nice holidays and you probably do want some lifestyle. So these three types of Lamborghini owners are actually um, a metaphor for life that you can learn from too. So the first type of Lamborghini owner is the owner that can buy 10 Lamborghinis and own 10 Lamborghinis and probably doesn't drive many of them and probably isn't really, doesn't really get much happiness anymore because probably he's just addicted to buying cars because it's probably just a hundred millionaire or a billionaire. And um, that's probably not a normal type of Lamborghini owner, but that's the first type of Lamborghini owner. Uh, now, I believe that is your divine birthright destiny. You deserve to be wealthy. No one deserves not to benefit from the amazing resources that our planet offers us. You know, and wealth is one of those resources and it's, a it's accessible to everyone. And generally, the people that are rich enough to be able to buy 10 Lamborghinis are the people that have offered value in society, are the people that have a meaningful mission and vision, um, and are the people who understand how to tap out the, um, tap into the amazing resources that we have on this planet. Um, the Let me just put the light back on. Da, da. The second type of Lamborghini owner um, is the one that can't afford it, tells everyone they've got one, goes and hires it for a day, uses it for bullshit um, bragging and flexing and promoting on social media, um, is probably getting themselves into massive debt renting one, or at least getting it on some ridiculously high interest um, loan, and, and has a lot of baggage and issues and is using a Lamborghini to compensate some other things. There are a lot of those types of people out there. There are a lot of those types of people living life like that. And you want to avoid that because that is a trap. Now, I don't subscribe to the view that only buy a Lamborghini if you can afford two and if you can pay cash. People like Dave Ramsey and Grant Cardone will say to you, only buy depreciating liabilities if you can afford two and if you can buy them cash. I actually don't agree with that. That's actually not good business sense. It's good advice for people who are broke, who are going even more broke trying to look rich. There's no faster way to go broke than trying to look rich. So for those kind of people, yeah, stop renting and leasing cars you can't afford to impress people you don't even know and like, and you want to avoid that trap. And if anyone does content or if anyone puts themselves out there or if anyone likes nice things, you have probably been sucked into that trap at some stage. I know how this all works. I've got seven supercars. I know how much they cost to insure. I know the baggage of the maintenance and the ongoing management. I know the security issues that they draw. And I know that a lot of me buying all these cars is compensating for the attention I didn't get when I was younger. Um, or me feeling like they're going to make me happy. So I've been through this journey. I'm now 45. I'm now closer to 50 than I am 40. I've now learned a lot about this shit. So the third kind of Lamborghini owner is the smart one who invests in assets that produce income and uses the assets to own the Lamborghinis and depreciates the Lamborghinis in companies or finds tax advantages for owning the Lamborghinis. And this is the type of Lamborghini owner that I am. And my Lamborghini Aventador, as well as some of my other supercars, um, have always been owned in LLP company structures. Now you need to do your research, you need to get a good accountant, but it is possible to own a Lamborghini, not wasting depreciating capital. Um, a lot of people take cash and put it into a car. That car depreciates significantly. That cash has an opportunity cost of the cash and it's actually a really bad investment decision. And even though Dave Ramsey and Grant Cardone are trying to help people by saying, don't buy one unless you can afford two and only buy it with cash. But actually buying a Lamborghini with cash is a really bad use of the cash. 
and there's opportunity cost of investing that money into another asset class. And actually, you can use income from assets to pay for um, you know, higher purchasing or uh, leasing to own in the future um, cars. It is a, a thing that you can do. I know because I've done this. Now, um, I, my Lamborghini is now fully owned outright. There's no finance on it. It's owned by one of my LLPs, which allows me to use it personally and own it in the company. And that's a very rare thing, but you can do it, but there's only one way to do it. And so the depreciation, if there is any, the maintenance, which there is a lot, the insurance, which is there is a lot, and all of the ongoing costs are run and depreciated through the company. So essentially, my car is costing me half. So if you've just tuned in, I'm going to talk a bit about this in a moment. I just want to do a quick summary because I can see more people tuning in. There are three types of Lamborghini owners, and this is an analogy for life. Take heed. It's not just about owning Lamborghinis. Number one, the one that can afford to buy two or five or ten with cash and it doesn't even matter and it doesn't touch the sides. And they'll, they'll quite happily buy a one of one that will cost twice or three times as much as the normal one. And they just want convenience and ease and speed because they're already really rich. I admire you if you get to that position. Most people are not in that position. But a lot of people are buying cars like they're in that position and they're not. The second type of Lamborghini owner is the blagger, the bullshitter, the one that rents it for a day or a week. The one that pretends that they can afford it, that can't. The, one, the ones that go broke trying to look rich. The ones that are spending three grand a month or more trying to keep up with monthly payments of a Lamborghini while it's going down in value uh, and literally spending more on their bloody Lambo than they are on their house. Avoid that trap. It is a trap. Social media lures you into that trap. Um, and it's a gimmick and it won't make you happy. Um, and by the way, I own seven supercars, so I, I have gone through this whole experience. I've never rented one, I've always owned it. But you know, if you really like cars, join a supercar club. That's a much um, more cost effective way of doing it. And also, owning supercars is not what everyone thinks it is. There's a lot of issues with it. And then the third type of Lamborghini owner is a smart one that, run, that r runs the depreciation against tax, that runs the expenses against tax that uses income from assets to pay the finance on the car. So essentially the car is free. And now when I buy cars, I either buy them with pre-tax cash profits from my real estate ventures. Because by the way, if you buy it pre-tax, you save half. My Lamborghini was 320 grand new, which means it was about 650 grand after tax because I pay about half um, of you know, what I earn in tax. So you save half by owning it um, through uh, paying it off through an asset and owning it um, in an, an asset like a company. Uh, and so actually you can own cars for free or you can almost get paid to own cars because you can reduce the cost ongoing and capital of your cars against your profit. So they're the three types of Lamborghini owner. Can you learn anything about life from the three types of Lamborghini owner? Um, I think that the best thing for depreciating liabilities is to invest in assets that produces income so that the income can pay for the ongoing cost of the liabilities. Or you make cash lumps from profit from assets, businesses, property, and then you use those cash lumps to buy into cars and depreciating liabilities. You can um, turn your holidays into work trips and run that as a business expense. This is all just ways to get better leverage of your money, to own depreciating liabilities with income producing assets instead of the worst thing to do really actually is to buy a new car or a new liability with cash. It's actually the worst. At least if you do it with finance, you're preserving the cash and then with the cash you can go and invest in um, other assets and not lose the opportunity cost. So sometimes getting finance on a car is better than buying it cash, even though um, Dave Ramsey and Grant Cardone will tell you otherwise. So let me know what you think. What kind of Lamborghini owner are you or do you want to be or will you be? Um, can you see the metaphors for life? And also, if you'd like to learn how to um, invest in assets that produce income, so your assets pay for your liabilities, not your cash after tax, because if you invest your money before tax in assets, you save half. So essentially everything costs you double if you buy it 
after tax. If you'd like to learn how to do this, how to structure the setup, the companies. By the way, this isn't particularly technical, something that it, you know, it's legitimately pretty easy for you to do as long as you understand the context and you get the right advice and the right accountants. If you'd like to learn how to do all of this, um, I recommend you join Rob.team. So Rob.team is my digital financial freedom platform to help you start and scale a business, make, manage and multiply more money and build multiple streams of recurring income. It especially focuses on being an entrepreneur, on building income streams, on investing in assets, on managing your money well. So if you'd like to, to join, then just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Just type this into any web page. It's easy to join. You gain access to hundreds of hours of courses, resources and masterclasses instantly once you've joined. You can double click on your phone with Apple Pay. And the great news is there's no risk because it costs less than 20 pence a day to join. Um, you can cancel at any time. There's no ongoing forced contract of six or 12 months any time. You can go in and consume all the content as quick as you want. And if you can catch me up and consume all the content, unsubscribe. Um, I challenge you to do that, by the way, because there's a lot of content in there. Um, and all the stuff you should be taught in schools but aren't. All the stuff the governments and central banks don't want you to know. This is all taught in Rob.team. Now I'm putting my money where my mouth is here because I think the governments and central banks are ruining the economy. They're completely debasing the value of our money. Um, and I'm on a mission to change this. Uh, Tom has said it, uh, that Rob.team is brilliant value for money. Thank you for that, Tom. So um, I reduced the cost to join Rob.team um, when lockdown happened. And I made it virtually free. Like there has to be something to pay because free advice is worth every penny. But when you pay, you pay attention. But I made it virtually free. I mean, 20 pence a day is virtually free. And I've actually not put the price up since post lockdown, which was four years ago, just because I'm on a mission to help as many people on the planet get better financial knowledge. So number one, jump in before the price goes back up to normal. Number two is you have, if you have children, they will always be able to log in free on your account and children will never pay. Um, to get the content in Rob.team. I'm actually launching a new um, homeschooling personal finance school for kids on Rob.team, which I will teach my kids and I will teach your kids. The next thing I'm going to do to put my money where my mouth is, is if you join right now, and it needs to be now, and to join you just have to, there's no, no link, to, link to click, I don't think. There might be, but if there isn't, just open a web page and type in rob.team, Rob.team. But if you join right now, I'll give you my 12... Module 16 hour Money Mastermind University completely for free. Basically, the online university I created to disrupt the school system to teach people about personal finance what the schools don't, don't teach and the governments and central banks do not want you to know because it makes you personally independently wealthy. I've actually done a university, well, my own university, I can't call it the university, my university degree on this from a bare knuckle entrepreneur on the streets who actually does business, has done for 20 years, has done a quarter of a billion in sales. Um, this will be a paid for course, about 700 pounds. Once we've done the design and the sexy editing and stuff for now, it's in Rob.team and you can get it completely for free. So go right now, just type in R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. It's all there. Let me ask you this, which type of Lamborghini owner are you? Now remember, it doesn't have to be a Lamborghini. That could be any car you like, or it could be just a metaphor for life. Are you the type of Lamborghini owner that doesn't have to think about buying Lamborghinis because you're so rich? Um, you've probably got to exchange 10 to 20 years of your life to have that fuck you money to be able to buy what you want, where you want, when you want, and the depreciation and the cost of capital and the inflation doesn't fucking matter. Most people are not there. The second type of Lamborghini is the fake uh, owner is the fake and the fraud. The, the renting them for a day or a week, pretending that they own it when they don't. Or getting some lease and paying thousands a month in interest. Going, a, going broke, trying to look rich. Basically, spending so much on the monthly and buying stuff they can't afford to impress people they don't even like. Avoid that trap. Now, Dave Ramsey and Grant Cardone say, don't buy it unless you can buy it cash. You can buy two of them. I don't agree with that because that's a bad cost of, and use of capital. And there's a better way. And this is number three. The better way um, is to invest in assets that produce income and use the income to buy the depreciating liabilities. So the depreciating liabilities are free and or paid by assets and owned in a, a tax relief structure. So you can essentially halve the cost by not paying the tax. That's how the smart people do it. And that's the kind of stuff you learn 
in rob.team. So just type in rob.team. It's all there right now for less than 20 pence a day. Cancel any time, no ongoing contract. John has said, why do they hate the fact that you are sharing money-making knowledge, Rob? Well, I don't know who they is, but I guess the school system and the, the banking system, why would they want you to know how to be rich when the way that they get rich is getting rich with you as the product, consuming from you, keeping you in debt, keeping you paying 35-year mortgages, keeping you addicted to the pension that you'll get that you can't retire on? Do you know minimum wage makes about 20 grand a year now? but the average pension is about 12 grand a year. So basically, it's not even anywhere near minimum wage. They need to distract you from all these realities. So why would they teach you to be entrepreneurial? Why would they teach you to start your own business? Why would they teach you to minimize paying tax? Why would they teach you to be decentralized? Why would they teach you to invest in assets that, are, um, that don't benefit the government or the central banks? Why would they want you to know the reality of how they use cash to control you? They don't want you to know this stuff just because that's how they make their money. They would be exposing themselves. This is why I teach this stuff. So it's all in Rob.team. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you. Lots of people just tuning in. Just um, go back and watch the replay. There are three types of Lamborghini owners and they are um, analogies for life as well as owning cars. And if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.